Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Nick from Noob Kill coming at you with another Madden video today. So guys, we got some more info about Madden NFL Mobile 21, guys. We're going to be getting um, an update and info every single week on Mondays, guys. So that's where you can go ahead and tune into the channel and all that stuff to get your all the news about it. Get my two cents about what we learned from here um, about the Gridiron Notes. Of course, if you guys do want to catch the live streams with, of course, our community manager, Nick, he does stream every Monday and I believe the time for that is 11 a.m eastern time if you want to jump into that now they went ahead and talked over what we got in this blog right here or this i guess gridiron notes is what they're calling it um and they of course had um a special guest with uh, one of the madden mobile devs with kidwell so you guys see right here this is the same thing we had last time hello madden mobile community welcome back madden mobile gridiron notes same thing the only thing that did change is that today we'll be discussing madden nfl 21 mobile's core gameplay loop <laughs> That's kind of funny. I will talk about that in a second. And Madden today's map. So we're going to be seeing our live events. There's been some changes. The art is a little different and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, the one that gets me the most <laughs> is the core gameplay loop. Now, what do I mean by that? So last week, we went ahead and got introduced to our schedule of one info one will be coming to us. So last week on June 16, we did get the reveal that Madden Mobile will be transitioning to a new app completely, guys. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check out on the channel. I'll leave a link in the description or have like a card annotation pop up um, showing off that video as well if you want to get caught up on that one. But of course, the 22nd, what they advertised here was uh, structure plus gameplay. So a lot of us thought, yo, we're going to be seeing some Madden Mobile 21 gameplay. Nick has been hyping up that it looks dope. And of course, all this new toe drag swag and all that, all that good stuff. So I was excited. Um, but of course, it's not kind of what we did get inside of our info right here. Um, but yeah, next week we will have Master Series as well. Then our overall archetypes and art and then the competitive and tournaments. So that's something to be looking forward to. But yeah, just a little bit of throw off a little bit on, of course, gameplay. Because we thought it was going to be gameplay game gameplay like we get to see the actual gameplay but it's only going to be um is what they're calling here the gameplay loop so here's what they are talking about so the core loop guys so they even took away the core they changed the word gameplay to core <laughs> but okay so here it all is here's the little wheel of life the circle of life right here for madden mobile i guess this is how they want us to play the game so play collect upgrade that's what our core loop is in previous integrations of madden nfl mobile in madden nfl 20 one mobile uh we have expanded on the areas that include craft and trade and recycling now a lot of people inside of course the live stream were going crazy for that right there trade you guys see right there step number three craft and trade so everybody was like yo we got a trade block but i'll get to that in a second let's finish off this paragraph this will allow users more freedom in crafting and building the items they want when they want them right it also provides a new experience for moving on from items after a current program or promo ends we look forward to sharing more about this as we get closer to the madden mobile of course so we this is just kind of like a gist of what we're getting right here so obviously play play the live events or whatever you want to do uh overdrive head-to-head -head arena whatever all about play the game then of course whatever after you play you collect your reward and then after that you're going to be crafting and trading now crafting and trading is obviously crafting sets but the trading part everybody's like yo we're getting a trade block this is insane now what kidwell went ahead and actually explained inside of this is that more items are going to be more auctionable is that if that makes sense to you so you're not gonna have so many non auctionable items but there won't be what i got from the feel of what he was saying inside of the live stream is no there is no trade block per se and i i agree with that I, I, there's just so much loopholes around and, and things that can go wrong with a trade block um and obviously it, it could ruin the market of the game and everything like that but of course trading is not trade block it's basically um let's say i have a collectible i can go ahead and sell it uh sell an auction block for someone to someone and then i can buy another auction <laughs> another card on the auction that i need and they're counting that as trading so technically using the auction block is counting as trading then of course you take your items that you crafted or traded you upgrade your team and then if you don't like them after the program is all ended you can recycle them so uh what they're talking about here like most of the time you guys know that um if you guys did not finish a set in time right let's say the live events all popped up they disappeared you have the set for an extra week but for that one week period if you don't have the items for the completing the set the extra week is basically useless because you can't get any more of those items so let's say you were like five collectibles away from completing a set 
all the other stuff in that set is basically useless now. So you would have to usually trade those in for either trading them into Madden Max badges or trade it into the recycling set. So they're going to be trying to make some more ways to incorporate some better offers and stuff and better things like that. But yeah, this is kind of like our core loop, which, which, which was supposed to be our gameplay and structure, but this is what we kind of got right here so yeah tell me guys what your thoughts about that they're basically saying we're gonna get more auctionable items and i'll talk about that in a second because we are moving on to madden today madden today map has always been the hub of interaction for players in madden nfl 21 mobile we took we look to expand on this even further providing more events and possibilities than ever before there will be specific events nodes for training points xp coin and other currencies guys so you guys see right here these are the coin ones i'm believe those are the coin ones there's your training points there's your xp and then you guys can see we have some different live events as well such as this um the scheme academy over here uh the position one over here you got team history museum and then you also got madden today scout so these ones are a little different um from that they do show us a little bit of sets um right here we also will have a larger hub nodes that open and expand offering more multiple options for users and providing a more unique unique experience this feature will allow us to allow more smoother and easier navigation to promo sets and other sections inside of madden nfl 21 now what they mean by that is that they kind of bring back the carousel guys and i like this in madden mobile 16 and 17 i believe we had the madden carousel where every live event was basically on a carousel and let's say if i clicked um the madden mint one right it'd pop up and i could see the training points one and i could see the xp one and if i wanted to switch i didn't have to go move to the map and tap on the individual node i would literally tap on one and then swipe over to the right and it would swipe over to whatever live event i like that personally i know a lot of people didn't like it for some reason but i feel like it's so much easier um to navigate through different events and especially when we're inside of a program and there's like a bunch of nodes all over the place and you got to do it in some order it was just so easy you knew exactly which ones you already played and you knew exactly ones you still need to play because you would all say like you could swipe swipe this one one out of 20 you swipe over it says zero out of 20 you're good you don't have to go out and click random nodes like oh did i play that one for the achievement i don't know that's just my take on it but it looks like it is going to be back um here's a little bit obviously guys these values and everything are all work in progress so don't take these face at face value that you're going to be getting 1225 coins for playing this event or this event even is going to be 35 stamina to play this uh o-line blitz event but you guys can see some of the different items you will see inside of this so you got an o-line uh i believe they're called badges you got a running back and linebacker so i believe they said that every single day uh you'll have like three of them open up and then on the weekend every position you can play every position on the weekend so if you're hunting for a quarterback and he's not there on tuesday he might pop up on wednesday um and then you'll get another chance on sunday to go out, or the weekend i should say saturday sunday to play the quarterback ones over and over again evens 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 will also provide what I don't, I don't know the evens evens will also <laughs> okay i don't know okay so i don't know <laughs> um i've oh i think this is supposed to be events there's a missing t right here i'm like yo what evens i'm like what um events will also provide new types of collectibles madden dust so that's what these guys are madden dust so another currency i know this is kind of getting a little crazy but it's about to get even crazier guys and this is where i feel like I don't know if we're taking the right step, but I haven't seen it. So I can't knock it just yet. I haven't got my hands on it. We have to see how all the payouts are and everything. But there is going to be uh, Madden Dust position emblems. My bad. These are not badges. They're emblems. And new sets, building pieces will all uh, will all be available in the upcoming Madden NFL 21. So if we scroll down, here are the payouts. So you guys can see if we play this O-line one. I Like I said, these are all subject to change. I don't know the payouts and everything. This is just an example. This is just showing us some art. So you guys see some XP here we got some coins we got some madden dust and we got plus six o-line emblems right there now we look forward to sharing more about what uh, about this as we get closer to madden nfl 21 obviously but let's jump into sets guys so there will be more variety with sets in madden nfl 21 mobile using the new core loop 
so back to this core loop in crafting all right you got to go back to the core loop make sure yo you're playing the game you're not sure <laughs> you pull up the core not nah, joking guys um, um but yeah let's keep going back down uh to what we got right here uh using the new core loop you will be able to upgrade and craft and trade items for more specific sets in and outside of current programs in example in this example you'll be able to trade specific madden mint coins on the auction block to acquire ones you may not have while also liquidating ones you may have multiples of so there it is guys that is what they are referring to trading selling stuff on the auction block so you guys can see right here this is will be i guess this is a madden mint event right this is going to give you some coins now you guys can see it does need specific collectibles for of course this set so you need 2003 madden mint you need for 2014 you need 2015 and 1998 right so let's say you went ahead and played the live and you got a bunch of collectibles you got you got one of each besides uh 1998 you don't have that one at all but you have two 2015 collectibles right you can go ahead and keep one and then sell is what they're calling trade i don't know why they're using trade you can sell that on the auction block and then you can go ahead and buy two 1998 collectible on the auction block so like i said they're using the word trade but they're basically just saying that there's going to be a more of variety of things that are going to be more auctionable so just looking at this i don't know about in the future like i said these are just my thoughts as well um maybe like in most feared when you have collectibles and all that stuff all the collectibles will be auctionable again if back into madden mobile 16 17 i used to make so many coins off just playing the events right away selling all the collectibles as fast as possible all the suckers that wanted to buy and build the cards as fast as possible you would sell the collectibles as fast as possible and then when you're time to build the set you wait until like midway or almost near the end of the program to build your sets you buy them back for like like one fifth of the price right because everybody's trying to build them as fast as possible with collectibles so that's something to look forward to that's gonna be great that they bring back i'm guessing since they're saying they're gonna be adding more ways to sell items on the auction block as a trade i guess but yeah there you go but here was where things i feel like could get very very confusing very confusing i don't I, I don't know the like i said i can't knock it 100 because i haven't seen it just yet in my hands but what i'm looking right here now there will all there will still be program exclusive item and currency so like looking at most feared roll to the playoffs all that good stuff draft kickoff but crafting will allow more flexibility when it comes to sets below you will see an example of a creation process using rewards you receive from blitz events you'll be able to tr to craft a specific badge man this is where it gets like i said it's gonna get a little crazy here all right so bear with me while i try to explain this right so that is needed for our set so this is an example of one of the new possibilities we look forward to sharing more as we get closer so they keep saying this we get to see more and when we get closer but here we go guys so hey this is what we're talking about so um back to our live event right here the position whatever it was called uh this one right here you guys can see you get old line collectibles right uh, you're going to get your positional emblem. So if we go back down to the set, you guys can see a position emblem for quarterback. Obviously, we'll need the quarterback emblem. Um, it will also need new currency of grid iron dust. And you also need some coins. And it's not a hefty coin amount, 250. But, but this is where it gets hectic because a lot of this stuff is what they're saying is going to be requiring blank badges so uh, blank badges are going to be a very big currency that everybody will need it looks like blank current blank badges the dust and coins will be currencies you need for everything um so for example what the example was that they used was i don't know building a tom brady set or something like that and he needs a quarterback badge you will need to go ahead and build a quarterback badge so you need one blank badge you need one qb emblem you need 50 dust and then 250 coins now I, they didn't specify how many quarterback badges tom brady's gonna need but you're gonna have to build this badge it's not gonna be like a badge you're used to just picking up now i'm guessing you can still buy these badges off the auction block now since the new trade system um but they also mentioned that hey maybe you need a Bengals badge so you're going to need a blank badge and instead of a quarterback badge you're going to need a bang a Bengals emblem um so there you guys go so basically take out quarterback whatever you do need and that's how you're going to be building new sets now 
I get where they're coming from. They want to make things more easy. I, I wouldn't say easy, but more like streamlined to understand. But then it's like just so many needed steps. And I hate doing extra steps. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm lazy sometimes. And I don't know. You, What are your guys' takes on this? This is what I'm, I'm looking at. It's just like, it's just so much needless extra building sets. So I got to go ahead and to finish Tom Brady sets, I need to get all the necessary requirements for it. Plus, I need these quarterback badges. Um, And then I got to go over here to build the quarterback badges. But in order to build the quarterback badges, I need all these other requirements. You got to get where I'm coming from. It seems like we're going to be running around a lot. And I don't like running around a lot. Um, this is just seems a little different. But there you guys go. That's what we got for today. Tell me, guys, what your thoughts. It's already a 15-minute video. I apologize. A lot of rambling at the end here. But here's the next stuff we will be seeing. So, of course, like I said, the 29th next week is going to be Master Series. Should be interesting. I never played Master Series. So, I'm I, I'm, I'm just gonna be jumping into this kind of blindly. Uh, and, then of course, guys, make sure you guys link your account so you can get a free 100 overall with a Madden stack stamp and all that stuff um but yeah guys tell me what your thoughts about the info we got today of core loop and of course um madden today and all that stuff but thank you guys so much for watching you guys are tuning to for everything madden mobile and that's right here on the channel always stay hype and i'll catch you guys soon peace What's up?